Hello, so today we are going to be making diluted piranha solution from sulfuric drain cleaner and 3% hydrogen peroxide. 3%, 6%, 12%, and 30% will all work just fine. Just mix them accordingly. 3% is just what I had, so that's what we're going to use. A uh, quick little note, anything above 50% hydrogen peroxide to concentrate it is not a good idea to mix to make piranha solution. The solution becomes highly explosive. So the first step is to add about 20 milliliters of the sulfuric acid drain cleaner into a small beaker. I have the surrounding glass around it just to catch any splashing that might occur just so it doesn't get on the table. And here I have it on my electric stirring hot plate, but we will not be heating up the solution. Heating up sulfuric acid indoors is very stupid and you should not do that. So here we're just gonna turn it on and let it run. So here we're going to be adding the hydrogen peroxide to the sulfuric acid drain cleaner. It is extremely important that you do it slowly as the mixture is mixing, as this reaction is exothermic and does produce heat. Please note as well that anything above 100 milliliters of sulfuric acid drain cleaner must be done in an ice bath. It is extremely important that you add the hydrogen peroxide to the sulfuric acid and not the other way around. If too much hydrogen peroxide is used, it can become extremely dangerous and even explosive. You may have also noticed that the sulfuric acid from the drain cleaner is colored. Mine is a dark issue of red, but it differs between manufacturers. That is just an agent to stop the sulfuric acid from attacking metal in the drains and reacting to other random chemicals within like pipes and all that. This reaction goes through a few changes. We add the hydrogen peroxide drop by drop to reduce the amount of water we get into the solution. As we add more and more hydrogen peroxide, the solution becomes clearer slowly. It will be the red color, then a faint red to yellowish color to a clear liquid. So what is happening is we are making a dilute piranha solution. The sulfuric acid is reacting with the hydrogen peroxide to create something called Caro's acid and water. Caro's acid is the same as piranha solution and the scientific name for it is proxy monosulfuric acid. It's all the same name for the same solution. Piranha solution is typically not stored and it's made and then used right away because it is a super strong acid and one of the strongest oxidizers. It reacts quickly with organic material and because of that it is used in labs to clean glassware and just stubborn oxidizers that won't come out. And piranha solution can be extremely explosive with organic liquid like acetone, ethanol, and alcohols. We are going to show the difference between the drain cleaner we started with and the Caro's acid we end up creating. I started with the drain cleaner just to give it a little bit more time to react with the organic. And on the left, I cut the bottom of a bottle of bleach and gave it a good cleaning. Bleach bottles are made from polyethylene plastic and can withstand concentrated acids, even concentrated sulfuric acid. As the acid reacts with the organics, all the products loosen and get let go as carbon dioxide. All bubbling and gases that would happen would be carbon dioxide. Even though I made a very weak and diluted prana solution, you can clearly see how much more potent the prana solution is than the sulfuric drain cleaner. I will be doing a cleanup video and a safety video, and in that I'll be making a stronger concentrated prana and sulfuric solution and do some tests. Also something I forgot to mention earlier is the sulfuric acid drain cleaner is about 93% sulfuric acid already.